Well, I was running with uh, Theo, who's the eventual winner for most of it, and um, yeah, we just ran together for about 7k or so, and on that last hill he pulled away a little bit, and uh, yeah, got a bit of a gap on me and held me off at the end there. Yeah, he did, he sort of, uh, he pulled away, he didn't really fade, did he? Yeah, he, he put in a bit of a move going up that hill, so, yeah. Um, I didn't really have too many expectations. I just wanted to get in a sort of a shakeout after the holidays. Um, moving into an indoor season right now, so um, just wanted to get a tune-up before I started. I have a 3K next weekend in Seattle. So. You have a 3K, and where's that uh, happening? Uh, University of Washington. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. And then, well, it's not track a, it's a funny distance, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, it's over 300, I guess. I've never raced on it, uh, but um, this will be my first time. Yeah, I heard it's fast, but I don't know. Yeah, that's what I hear. <laughs> <laughs> and you went to, you ran for Dalhousie for four years? Yeah. yeah. So you're uh, post-collegiate now? Yeah, post-collegiate runner, still collegiate. Uh, Academically? Yeah. <laughs> and you're running with the BC Endurance uh, Project under Coach Richard Lee? Yeah. And with guys like Dylan White and Theo Hunt? Yeah. How's training going? It's going well. Um, yeah, I just started training with this group in September, so I'm still feeling it out, but it's a great group of guys, so it's, uh, it's a nice opportunity to train with them. I've just kind of been on my own a fair bit in recent years, so uh, yeah, it's nice to have a group of guys. Is there uh, quite a jump in mileage from uh, Dalhousie to, to being with the PC Endurance Project? I wouldn't say so. Um, my mileage is pretty consistent. I've always been a moderately high mileage guy for a middle distance athlete, so um, I'd say it's pretty consistent. I've got a lot more life commitments right now, so um, my mileage probably isn't even as high as it used to be, but I uh, seem to be able to get the same results off of lower mileage now. So. Might be the coach. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, in terms of, the, so what is moderately high mileage for John Corbett? Um, I mean, I'm 90 average, I would say, miles. Yeah. Miles? Yeah. So 150 hour plays would be? Probably, yeah. I've, I've been up to s segments of doing over 100 miles, but, um, yeah, I don't, uh, don't have time to recover from those uh, type of weeks anymore. So, yeah. 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 So, okay, so you got a 3K coming up, 3,000 meter indoor, and then, so yeah. what are your spring goals? Um, spring goals, I'll move back down to the 1500. Um, yeah, so, uh, there's quite a few races around BC that I'll be uh, looking forward to, and then hopefully some down in California. Um, and nationals will be in Edmonton this year, so. That would be the big goal for the summer. All right, so for uh, 1,500 meters, uh, you're just saying that uh, you've run about 348. So what are your goal and time goals this season? Um, I haven't set strict goals, but uh, I'd like to improve on that pretty significantly. So um, first goal will be to get under 345 and then take it from there. Um, farther under the better, but... Uh, yeah. Thank you. Good luck going forward. Great, thanks.